Hello, I've just uh, bought this. It's a portable power station, a generator, uh, if you like. Um, it costs £409, so around €500. Euros. There'll be a link below. It has 500 watt hours. And uh, for a motorhome, I think this is uh, quite useful as backup power. It has an MPPT uh, solar charge controller inside. So it can be used with the uh, solar panels or you, um, I could get some separate solar panels as well for the use on the outside. And there's the uses it says it has. And family office, travel, camping, business, medical, disaster. And I think for disaster use, this sort of thing is really uh, uh, quite good. So we've got some of the technical stuff up there about it as well. And um, so we've got a cigarette lighter socket, it's got um, wireless charging, it's got USB, um, 3 amp plug, and uh, let's now uh, unbox it as such, although, although, I think I'm going to have to turn this off. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> I took it out the outer wrapper, I tried uh, unboxing something a couple of days ago and uh, I totally failed. Right, okay, so I've, I've got that far. So we have here a certificate or something, a guarantee, warranty. And here we have... A lot of people do these unboxing things, they don't seem to have any problems. Oh, I can't. Right, so here we have some of the cables that go with it. Uh, that appears to be a power block, power brick, I should say. The uh, cigarette lighter cables and other cables. And down here, we have the, the generator. Ha ha ha. It's quite exciting, this one for me. carrying bag for it, I suspect, and now, oh, I'm afraid that's it, I don't think, that, oh no, I can get it out, sure. now it is quite light, it's only about 7 kilos, which compare that to other um, thing, uh, batteries, for example, of course it's lithium batteries, it's not lead acid, so it makes it a bit easier to carry around. Yeah, so uh, first thing I can, I can do, uh, uh, touching it, uh, I do feel it to be relatively relatively light. Okay, so, but I mean, obviously 500 uh, watt out, so that's like equivalent to about 40 amps. Um, well, I certainly couldn't pick up a uh, lead acid battery with one hand with so much ease, but, this has other things as well. So we've got input there, we've got a light there, so apparently it works as a torch. And, okay, how's that coming out? Is that coming out at all? I'll put it on its side. I've got some new software called Filmic Pro, and it's got this white balance and uh, I'm not used to using it yet, so I'm still testing things out on my new Samsung phone. Okay, DC, AC, we've got uh, USBs, and you can have this uh, with uh, US or UK uh, plugs as well. Obviously, I think I've got on these uh, plugs, um, European standard, and... Uh... Oh, I think that's great. Right, so um, it apparently it takes around seven hours to charge. So I'll, I'm going to put it on a charge now, and um, I'll charge it the first time by electricity. And after that, it'll be done by solar from the van. I haven't got the van here at the moment. It is at a uh, it's at the mechanics. So uh, I'll be doing another review on this a bit later. There's something like this I've been wanting to have for ages because I think that you know the backup for um, electrical power 
is something that, that it, it happens from time to time. And you might think, well, I don't know if I want to spend uh, all that £400 on a, uh, a backup. Well, maybe, maybe not. But I mean, considering, you know, the lithium battery of that size, I don't think that price is bad at all. Great. So that's my new toy. I shall be showing you one or two of the other new toys as well in other films. And uh, thanks for watching.